Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Well, morning folks, he's just woke up. Um, he did get, we did get some sleep, but every now and then he'd wake up when he heard a noise like he has just now. Um, really, I just woke him up really, because it's 5.40. I wanted to get, um, we might be going back. I wanted to get the bus at six some up, but we're not going to get that one. But um, at least he's going to be tired for the bus, I think, because we haven't done much sleep. So, so on the menu for food today for the dog is a vet's kitchen, and for me, something to eat: beef chew with potatoes, which I've had before. And I can say it's very nice. Uh, another dehydrated meal. Um, there's a uh, Bertie's food there, and he's got his drink. So this is last night's camping spot. A better look of it. I have actually camped here before. In uh, I think it was winter actually in this tent. The very first time I used this tent on a camp. There was actually some snow as well. Uh, there's our water supply down there. We just camped down from a. Uh, actually, I won't tell you where we camped. Might have already told you in the video, but. Yeah, I did say I'm not really going to tell people camping locations anymore. So Bert is starting to eat and I've just got more water on the boil with the uh, spider stove and one of them cheap gas cans again. Link in the description and link in the description for this one of these summit tweets. I um, highly recommend them. They're not, again, these are not cheap, but um, they are really nice. I'd love to sell these on my online store as well. Uh, but for now, I'm um, putting an affiliate link in the uh, description for you guys to buy it. Okay guys, it's starting to boil, so I just got to rip the uh, top bit off. So that is the top bit um, ripped off, that's what the food looks like inside before you add the water. And now I'm just going to add the water. Okay folks, ready to add the water. How much water I've got to add. I think that could be enough. There's some lines in this one, the other one didn't. Yeah, that's enough water. So I did just enough water with my uh, water filter. Okay guys, I just gave it a good old stir and now I'm gonna reseal it. So I've just resealed it. Um, that should be ready in five minutes. In that time, I think I'm gonna take the tent down. Right guys, that's no trace left. Picked up all the rubbish. The leads, they're uh, Bertie's leads, so I'm gonna put them on in, in a second, but everything else, as you can see, no trace left. All's good, we haven't left anything behind or any rubbish. So, we are, I've decided we're going back today. I think one, one night, take it easy and not too much at once. I think two nights is gonna to be too much. Um, I'm, I've had hardly any sleep, but um, he, he did eventually settle down, but um, he's just getting used to all the noises. Okay folks, we're arriving in the lovely little hamlet or village of Bowstone. It's 6.57 in the morning. To actually bring the drone and <laughs> four backup batteries, uh, that was a bit of a waste of time bringing, wasn't it? I mean, it's some lovely sunrise this morning, but it's just too much effort. With Bertie at the moment because he's not used to the outdoors. I've got to keep an eye on him and he's running after. He's like listening to wildlife he wants to run after so I've got to keep him on a leash and make sure he doesn't run off after anything. Um, but he did calm down in the night. I did notice an improvement. He relaxed but that might be because he was so tired he had to sleep. But um, we didn't get much sleep put it that way because he kept waking up every now and then as well and sniffing through the air vents when, when he was in the tent as well. So Bowstone actually has a post office. Bowstone Outreach Post Office returns to the village hall. Uh, there used to be a post office here. I think the post office used to be where the red fame box is. Had some nice food being cooked here yesterday. It smelled really nice. So... This was actually a telecoms office. Is that a post office? I'm not sure what a telecoms office is. Obviously to do with telecommunication, 
There's a post box on there. Quite a few I've been put through this part of the village. Don't know what that is. What's that, Bert's? Anyone know? Could be a war memorial or something. They got they got the old stocks in uh, Bellstone. Oh wow, look at the church. That's what it says here. Let's have a look, Bert's. Come on. It's nice, isn't it? It's more like a Chapel, where hasn't got a cemetery here, has it? Stickle Path Church. An interesting sign there if you want to read it in Stickle Path. Come on. Yeah, that sign was on this building. Looks like another church. Beautiful. Okay, it's rubbish time. But uh, by the way, guys, this uh, beef stew with potatoes was lovely. Um, However, the packing's going in the bin now. And that's going in the bin. That's today's rubbish. Stopped here just for a rest. Trying to figure out what to do while waiting for the bus. <laughs> Someone's going to be cooled down now. Wait for the shake. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Check this out, old phone box in South Zeal. They phone in this kiosk. So it says, BT no longer own this kiosk. The telephone equipment has been removed and the kiosk is owned and maintained by local authorities. So this is South Zeal on the edge of Dartmoor, or just in, Dar oh, just in Dartmoor actually. Yeah guys, I don't think I've ever been actually inside South Seal Village Centre, but it's quite nice actually. Looks like there's a sh... I don't know if it's a pub or a shop. Look how nice this is. Look at that pub. Wow. There's a local store. I don't know what this is, a village war or something. It's a very phone box. It's gone, it's like a defibrillator, like most villages now. Okay, we just went in the local, well I went in the local store, I tied the dog up outside, it's pretty quiet. Don't normally like leaving the dog outside shops, but it's just like a small quiet village, so I thought it'd be all right. It's early as well, so I was only quick. Uh, tied him up with both leads is fine but I wouldn't certainly leave them outside a supermarket or anywhere busy. Another pub in South Seal, the King's Arms. That's nice. It's not open at the moment but it's really early so yeah we're heading back to the main road here to catch the bus at 9.55. It's only 9.04 at the moment. Okay so Exeter Station now waiting for their train to Bristol Temple Meads. Oh, this way. We're at uh, Bristol Temple Meads now. 
getting a uh, train to Swindon. So we just, oh, here we go. <laughs> we're, but we're going to Swindon. Um, this is a train to Swindon from Bristol Temple Mees for us. So guys, we are in Oxford now, just going to Oxford train station. And that'll be our last, uh, our last train. Just got off the bus from uh, Swindon to Oxford. At Oxford uh, train station now, guys. <laughs> when I got him home he had the biggest sleep ever I don't think I've see ever seen him so tired definitely the lack of sleep last night <laughs> 